And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teemo Shen. <laughs> this is a, a viewer submitted donation deck that's kind of combining two of my favorite champions and trying trying to combine them and see what happens. Y'all know how much I've liked Shen. We've been playing a bunch of different Shen decks. That Shen Vi was awesome. And, you know, Shen Katarina, Shen Lux, Shen Zed, all that kind of stuff. And now we're going to be combining it with Teemo, which... As you know, I really like Teemo decks. We've played the Teemo Swain Control recently. That was really cool. The Teemo Misfortune was a lot of fun also. But, you know, just you, you always feel so rewarded when you win a game with Teemo and Puff Cat Peddler and Chumpwomp and creating those Mushroom Clouds. And so we're just going to combine both of those two aspects. Um, you know, we'll see how well it will really work. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But we know we're going to have fun. Kempunk Pickpocket is an awesome card to go along with Shen. We, if we're looking at like, you know, cards that we really want to give barrier to, um, Pickpocket's a good one because they kind of have to block Pickpocket. And so we just give Pickpocket a barrier. They kind of have to block it because if they don't, we get to just generate value by creating good spells. Um, yeah, but we're not we're not the best Shen decks because besides that we really don't have great Shen targets as in we don't have uh, we don't have any challengers and you really want challengers to go along with Shen. But still Shen will like allow us to like attack with like Puffcat Peddler where we we're maybe not always attacking with Puffcat Peddler, but we can ease more easily attack with that card with Shen. Um but Yeah, so let's let's give this a try. All right, we're gonna go play five games over in ranked. Question: Chibble Tizzle has. Do you think that the nab? Do you think that instead of nab, they should follow the pickpocket terminology and just make copies instead of you stealing? I kind of think. No, I think that they need to steal because. I think they need to steal because, like, it's supposed to be pirate stuff. And, you know, like, you're actually, you know, it's called Nab. I think it does need to steal. And now that it steals the bottom card, it is less... Um, it's less impactful to a lot of things. Like, you know, like your Omen Hawks and stuff like that. And your, your cards that are manipulating the top of your deck. You know, you're not taking the Enraged Yetis and things like that. Um... But no, I think it does need to steal. Hmm. I can certainly see just keeping that, like not playing anything and having the retreat recall to go with the three drops that would put it into play. Hey Milan, what's up? Okay, you're a fan of Undying? Uh, yeah, the, so is the, is the champion list on dying deck a good deck to climb with? I mean, it's not one of the best, it's not one of the best decks to climb with, but the thing about this game is the car, the game is very, very balanced. There are just a, a couple of things that are, a couple of decks that are a little bit better than others. But next week is going to be a balance patch, and likely those things will be nerfed next week. But this whole game is just really, really balanced, and you can play dozens and dozens of different decks and rank up with them. So yeah, if you're a big fan of the Undying, I say go for it. I say give it a try. Um, you know, I think I think you'll like it, and it should work out just fine. The most important thing is playing something that you Access really enjoy playing. Up. I think that's the most important thing. Because if that's the case, then you're able to play it more. And the more you play a deck, the more you can kind of see how matchups really play out. Um, you know, find find weaknesses in your deck, weaknesses in the opponent's deck that you can that you can uh, target, and you know, really tune your deck well. I 
I walk this space between worlds. Our hand does look kind of awkward. I, I, I'm probably on the spot where I wish I didn't play the Claws of the Dragon. I don't know. We already got three damage in with it. We're about to be able to attack with it again, most likely. The balance will decide. See Yasuo fate. deck. It can try. Oh, I guess I missed that. I should have just gone straight to attacking with those two. Hey, what's up, Rankler? Happy Friday. Hope you're having a good good day at work, Rankler. Hope you are. the fluffy tails fool ya. I would never let the fluffy tails fool me, that is. Best day of the week, that's right. Best day of the work week. Yeah, so yeah, definitely give just try that deck out, Milan. It's not the it's not the easiest one to play. You got some tricky stuff going on in there, but it's, it's certainly pretty fun. says I just got out of college and can't work because of the pandemic. These woods protect mm. their own yeah, I'm sorry keeper. about that, but Tizzle puts a positive spin on it saying enjoy it. You'll work plenty in your life. So there you go. That's a good call. As long as as long as you can afford it and afford a roof over your head. These woods protect their own keeper. For now. Our lands need us. Yeah, it's definitely possible to get to master rank with the Yasuo with the Yasuo and Cat deck. Not, maybe not necessarily super easy, but definitely possible. Uh, I start playing Runeterra in like mid February. I sense an imbalance. They cannot hide. Don't know. If my opponent's there, it looks like they got disconnected. They got disconnected. I don't really want to count that as a win. We'll just We'll just pretend like that game didn't happen. That was just our warm-up. You know, you gotta have a warm-up, right? Good to have that nice warm-up. <laughs> what? Whipkin says work's overrated. I worked two hours in my life and then I retired? What? What even mean? Do you want to keep the gotcha? Pickpocket, peddler, gotcha. I don't mind it. The thing is, I, I usually like mulliganing spells a lot. We don't want to get to the spot like where we just have a whole bunch of four mana spells in hand. You know, like we keep some and then we draw more and that kind of stuff. We had a full house. I doubt our opponent could beat a full house. I don't think they can have like four of a kind. Unless something weird happens. Just borrow it. These woods 
protect their own. I need more Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, they better not have Mega Rain. Ugh. Can't even play Pickpocket now because of Mega Rain. I don't want to have... I don't want to let them twist it, babe. Man, just perfect hand. For them. Three chipmunks. These are... It looks like chipmunk, but these, these are Kempunk pickpocket. Not a chipmunk. It's close, though. It's close. Mushrooms could talk. Oh, whoops, am I right? I'm not greedy. My friends, though. What you looking for? Wow, and they stole my gotcha? Well, this has worked out so perfectly for them. I got the goods. All hands on deck. Another day in the field. I'll pick him, you plan him, kid. I honestly probably shouldn't be playing the Teemo yet, should I? They cannot hide. Check out the goods on this one. Yeah, I really shouldn't be playing the Teemo yet. I should be playing Peddler and a bunch of Mushroom Clouds first and making sure this is a leveled up team out to hit them with. I like having a backup team though, that's good. Well, it's hard to be aggro against what they had. I love the smell of mushrooms in the morning. When they on turn two had Vile Feast and Parlay, and then went Make a Rain, the Del two damage to everything. Your it's hard to out aggro that. This is the anti aggro deck. Their bones are splintered. 
Yeah, draw those puff caps. Draw them puff caps. deck i've played that deck a couple of times and it is amazing against aggro yeah we're supposed to be an aggro deck it's really hard to beat that um it did seem like that that version was a better version of the swain plank that we just played that was the the thing that i really didn't like about our our swain plank deck was that I just didn't have, I didn't have any use for the powders. We just didn't have enough, like, besides Mega Rain was the only card in our deck that did anything with the powders, and we didn't do a good job of drawing Make It Rain to go along with the powders. That deck has Withering Whale and the Make It Rain and File Feast and all sorts of, all sorts of stuff. Grass the Undying that makes the powders better. Another day in the field. Yeah, the lab's awesome. I like playing the lab. Um, I've done two labs, and the first lab video did pretty well on YouTube. The second lab video, basically nobody watched, and so I probably won't do another one. But yeah, I like the lab. Um, so I thought against the the Noxus deck that Will of Ionia could be good at, at bouncing. You know, Darius or Bacillus Strider or stuff like that to slow him down. And um, so that's why I kept that. You know, like Shen and then also just Spirit's Refuge. Could be nice at gaining some life back. Does does mean that we have a very awkward turn three. But next turn. So next turn we'll play Shen or Will of Ionia, one of the two. And then the turn after that, we'll be able to double spell. Right on. All right, well, I'll just go the pickpocket to be able to play this and Will of Ionia and bounce the 6-4. had five one drops that's, that's pretty aggressive five one drops is pretty aggressive I walk the space between worlds Double Spirit's Refuge or this thing plus Stand United. Green, Gate, Green Glade kills Basilisk? Well, that also kills me. That's way too much overwhelm damage. I die if I... Yeah, I'd probably die with that. My father 
Ender's Blade. It would have been really nice to... That's a good draw. It would have been really nice to be able to um, wait until we had a leveled up Shen before we did that. Oh, I was supposed to go the. I was supposed to pop up the Shen. Because I targeted the team up first. Should have, should have pumped up the Shen. Yeah, I just have Decimate. Definitely looked like they had Decimate with them using the transfusion like that. Was it lethal? Did I just did I miss math? I didn't think that putting the the green glade caretaker over there was lethal, was it? You thought it was 14? Let's see, it was a 3-2, right? Yeah, it was just a 3-2, and then we gave plus 2, 5, plus 2, 7, plus 3, 10? Like how much light I think it only did 10. They were above 10, weren't they? Or were they at 10? I think they were above 10. Yeah, they were at 14, yeah. And so yeah, it was 10, I think it was 10, yeah, it was 10 damage. These woods protect their own. Yep. Yep, ten. Coming in and that's if we could have figured out how to do it correctly. The only way to get Claw the Dragon in play. I guess I could have done that barrier first and seen what we draw, what we drew. You ask, but do not see. 
<clears throat> Run while you can. Well, that was the best possible card to have. Explosives primed. Yeah, that turn worked out pretty well for them. Get out of here. We ain't riding for Noxus. No, no another Legion Saboteur. Ah. Oh, they didn't block. Interesting. Okay. Doing that extra damage. My axe is ready. Will of Ionias are quite nice. to six. If I cast Progress Day, we're looking at trying to draw really just like the two Concussive Palms. It's kind of about all I have against that thing. Uh, Mystic Shots would be good too. The three Mystic Shots. That'd be good too. Otherwise, I'm just playing like a Shen as a blocker and passing, basically. Yeah, so we could we could bounce Teemo and give him six six more puff caps. Bounce Teemo, replay Teemo, or I could bounce Peddler. I think I'd rather just bounce Peddler and reset the health as far as blocking goes. Even though I don't make any puff caps. I heard about you. Wow. We drew a concussive palm, that's the best card for me to draw. They don't break, they'll burn. Make the Empire proud. We march. Understood. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Ramiel, that's your fault. Ramiel said they're gonna have atrocity incoming. I did all I could. And just gave him an atrocity. They didn't have it before that. Ramiel's fault. You know, can't wish. You can't wish the opponents to have the best possible cards because then they have them. Can't do that. Need to wish me to draw cards and just say they have nothing. They they won't. They're gonna have nothing in hand. Nothing. Nothing that does anything.
So Retreat hasn't really looked very good, but maybe Retreat's good against the Karma Twisted Fate deck. Maybe this is where we could actually do some stuff with Retreat. Atrocity costs 6 mana. So yeah, I could save Teemo from like Make It Rain. Like, this could be the matchup for Retreat, so like maybe I shouldn't be mulliganing it. Our deck, this deck has so many 4 mana cards that it would be really hard to fit Deny in also. But yeah, I know, I know Deny is, this is a good spot for Deny. There, there's a lot of, a lot of good Deny targets in the field. Yeah, Kaba made this deck, said, yeah, we have 14 4 drops, so I said no Deny. Yeah. I do, I do love Teemo and I do love Shen. It's, it's not feeling like Teemo and Shen together is working out for us. The fate of mortal and spirits falls to me. Always up for a round or two. Dead in their tracks. Our opponents are doing great, though. Looking at their stuff, and it's always like, oh, what would be a really good card for them to play right now? And then they play it. They're doing great. Good for them. Silent as death. They're running hot. Think I'm still like a yodel in uniform. I want to play more peddlers before I play these mushroom clouds. You know, like we're playing for the long game. We're not like their deck's not too fast. The biggest problem here is going to be the Twisted Fate. We don't have any removal in our deck, do we? I guess we, there are some Mystic Shots in our deck. That seemed completely pointless to cast Warning Shot. They just hit me with a Shadow Assassin. Take from the rich, give to me. That was honestly completely pointless. Breathe in, breathe out. Like that was it really was pointless. Oh, cool! They took my Mystic Shot. I'm so happy about that. Most important card for me to draw. We have Gotcha in our deck as well. We could draw Gotcha. We need one of those two. We need to kill this Twisted Fate. Will of Ionia is certainly not for Man of Vengeance. Vengeance would kill Twisted Fate right now. That would be good. Will of Ionia would just let them replay the, that Twisted Fate and get more value from it. 
It cannot hide. If he levels up, and of course, they have blockers for Teemo also. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. I don't think our deck works. <laughs> I wish it did, but it really doesn't. Basically, we don't have interaction. Eyes open. And, uh, like, we need challenger units and, like, a bunch of units for Shen and, and challenger and combat tricks and stuff like that. But then we need we need a lot of, like, spells and removal and and uh, more defensive things and stuff like that for the Puffcat Peddlers. And combining the two this just doesn't work at all. <laughs> they they don't, have, like, this stuff doesn't, the Teemo stuff doesn't help the Shen stuff. The Shen stuff doesn't help the Teemo stuff. I wish it did because I like both parts, but, uh, yeah, this doesn't work. Our deck just doesn't work. Why are you taking all of my Mystic Shots? Come on. Why do you have to be rude? I All right, come on, gotcha. It's love. There's a lot of puff caps they're going to be drawing. Be very lucky if they don't block something. If just something doesn't get blocked. Don't mind me. Credit denied. We just we just have this happen. Now we cast retreats. 
even though... Because basically this is just going to be another three puff caps, and so we double up another three. Hmm. Is this worth six puff caps? Yes, it is worth six puff caps. I have another Shen in hand. This is a Shen Stand United, so this is just going to be putting two Shens in my hand. But currently, I am trying to get as much Puff Caps in play for them because they're about to draw four cards this next turn. And I'm hoping, like, my only way of winning this is they draw 12 Puff Caps and four cards, which is definitely possible. <laughs> they stole my gotcha too. Great. Still zero mana gotcha. That's fair. Alright, just draw your 12 puff caps. Whatever. Draw come on, 12 puff caps. We need each each card to be worth three, which is which is more than average. You know, like they're gonna average more than twelve. Yes. Get your thirteen. We did it together. We did it together. So that was cool. Stand united. They they were greedy. I'm telling y'all, every time. So like that four one, they didn't they didn't block the four one because they thought it was gonna be stunned. Still throw a blocker in front. Like you always. Even like when you think something's going to be removed, just throw a blocker in front. They didn't throw a blocker in front. We were able to do the stand united, put the Teemo in the unblocked slot, and win from there. That was clutch. Um, Yeah. <laughs> I've seen that happen way too many times, the no blocker. They had 88 puff caps and like 20 cards, 20 something cards. It was it was basically averaging four puff caps per draw approximately. And um Thanks, Maverick. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Huh. Basically, the Green Glade duo is too valuable to play it to block. The Green Glade Caretaker, sorry, it was too valuable. With I had no other units. And, like, if I just block with it, like, it's. Green Glade Caretaker is the kind of card that can. Darn it, I wish I could play that. It's the kind of card that can be awesome with the Spirit's Refuge. We could gain a ton of life with that. Sure about that? What do we get? Worthy end. That's what you get, worthy end. Focusing on the end part. Trespass here. Come here, darling. 
Cool. Get a hit in with the pickpocket draw spell. Yoink. Haha. <laughs> Why does that thing have to have four health now? Why Why did they think that was a good idea? Why? Nothing does four damage. Ugh. Hurts, but I think my best option is playing double gotcha on that card. The order rewards its faithful. Riding! You cannot escape. Basically, I'd rather have the Shadow Assassin block instead of Puff Cat Peddler block. If something's going to be blocking that. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Pass? Pass? Can I pass back? It's a lot of mana they don't use. What? Stop! No, not harrowing. No, don't tell. Don't don't give the opponent good cards. Last time y'all give them the atrocity, the only card that killed me. Don't give them a harrowing. Stop. Have a mushroom. Have three. I should just pass the turn back also. Certainly considered that as a course of action. Let's see what you can do. No, I can't be tarrowing. Now we're cooking. Was a complete waste of a spinning axe, wasn't it? Is that all? Just borrow it. Axes coming right up. Would a mushroom help? Best case scenario last turn would have been They grow up so fast. Best case, best case scenario last turn would have been me uh, probably I don't know, like me blocking them them using like the spinning axe and then I concussive palm. That would have been good. You name it, I'll nick it. No game, brother. I like that card. 
three. What the f is that? Run away, bike! Timing is everything. Open Stand United can do some work. They just have atrocity. Couldn't stop that anyway. Um, even if I would have blocked the Draven the turn before while I was at 11, that wouldn't have stopped it because of the spinning axes. So I couldn't have stopped that. Well, no, because they would be at 11, so I guess their Darius wouldn't have been 10 power. No, because no, because then they they played Decimate, didn't they? So yeah, no, I don't, I don't think I could have. <laughs> All right, so uh, unfortunately, it was a it was a fun experiment, but our experiment did not work out with Shen Timo. Just didn't have good interaction. Which you'd think we'd have some with, you know, Mystic Shot, Gotcha, Concussive Palm, Will of Ionia, but it just wasn't enough. And yeah, the, the whole Shen, Shen stuff just doesn't really help the Teemo stuff. Um, I know what Cabo was trying to do here was put like two of my favorite champions and put them together in one deck. And I really wish it would have worked out, but this just did not work out. Um, my opponents had awesome stuff, you know, like they they had like their atrocities to kill me when they need it You know, like that happened twice. That was that was great for them and and some of the other games Like they just had the the exact right cards when they needed them. So, you know, good good for them um, but, uh, Yeah Didn't quite work out. All right, we got two more decks to play uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Uh, feel free to leave those comments as well. We're going to try to pick it up here for our next deck with Discard Aggro. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.